Hey guys, welcome to another long term review. Today I'm going to try one of these market side subs. Market side is a Walmart brand, so we got this at Walmart. Um, it was back in the um, the deli area where you get like meats and stuff like that. Um, it was three dollars and ninety eight cents for this particular one. This one is the Italian Hero sub. It is hard salami, uh, pepperoni, hot ham, hot ham cap capicola, um, tavern ham, provolone cheese, pickles, and lettuce. So it sounds like it's got a lot of meat on there. Um, I pulled the sticker loose. It wasn't that easy to pull loose for the first time, but I just kind of pulled it loose so I could do this uh, on video. What's that? It's a big package of like salsa. That looks cool. Um, and it's in like a little, it's in a bag. Let's see, I'm going to see if I can pull it out just a little bit. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Quite a bit of lunch meat on there, actually. The lettuce looks a little sad, but you know, whatever. So I'll probably, um, I mean, there's no heating it up. I could heat it up, but I'm not going to. Um, I'll probably put some of that salsa on here, and then, uh, but I'll do that at the table. I'll be right back. I forgot to show the calories. I don't know why, but I was excited to eat it. Um, it is 500 calories to the entire sandwich, and there's the ingredients if you want it. It is a seven ounce sub. All right, so I'm gonna open the package of whatever this is. It's in Italian, so I would think it would be some kind of um, tomato sauce or something. I wouldn't think of salsa, because salsa would be like, more of a Mexican uh, thing, so who knows? It smells like a sweet and sour sauce almost. Wouldn't be picante because that would be like a Mexican flavor. Let me just taste some. Hmm, it's got a good peppery, spicy flavor. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I cut it in half because I want to show you the end of it. Here's what the end looks like. The cut end. I love the spice from that sauce. That's awesome. The bread's a little dry and hard, not hard like in like stale, but just hard as in. It's room temperature. It's kind of, I mean, it's cold, so it's 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 um, it's kind of firm. If I were to do this again, I would probably stick it in the microwave for like five or ten seconds just to warm the bread up just a little bit. Um, but overall, it's really good. If you didn't want anything spicy, just don't put that whatever that tomato stuff is on there because um, that is a, that adds that little peppery spice to it. Now, if you just want the regular sub, then just eat the the, the lunch meat and the bread by itself. Don't put that on there. Good body that pickle. The pickle's got that good pickle flavor. I actually like this stuff quite a bit. Um, I like the flavors. I like the textures of the meat. The meat, um, you get quite a bit of it too. And the um, the pickle adds a lot to it. That sauce, like I said, is really, really, really good. I'll, I'll, that's probably one of my favorite parts of it. Um, I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. This one's got enough flavor and enough oomph there to where it's it's really good. Like I said, the only difference is I'd probably stick it in the microwave for just five or ten seconds just to warm the bread up a little bit so it's not quite so firm. Um, it's not dry, it's just, it's just, it's been in the refrigerator, so it's kind of firm um, and cold. So uh, that's that's the only difference I would do for it. That five or ten seconds wouldn't make a difference in melting the cheese or anything like that. It would just warm up that bread a bit. So four out of five, definitely, definitely worth trying out. If you see these in your Walmart, I would try it out. Don't even be afraid of it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.